so welcome back uh, in this video we are going we are going to learn about uh, how to get uh, information and data from blockchain uh, through our web page or decentralized application so for this uh, uh, and uh, of course how to get uh, table rows and data from any smart contract so for, uh, for this we will be using our smart contract of project 6 that we have recently deployed on uh, testnet jungle testnet on our account EOS testing AB so uh, it contains a table that have ID secondary index sender receiver details uh, we will fetch these details using our web page and also the account details of uh, our account uh, so let's get started for this uh, uh, we have a d app to folder and same structure javascript libraries required for uh, EOS uh, uh, JS web application or decentralized application and a app.js file and index.html file so in index.html file reference libraries uh, and uh, here is the heading uh, that we, uh, where we will show the account name uh, where that we will fetch from uh, blockchain and uh, here is a table where we will show the table records of our smart contracts so let's go to the app.js folder here we have changed the endpoints to the uh, testing uh, testnet and the chain id as well the contract name of our testing account is eos testing ab where the contract is deployed the rest is same uh, we have declared our rpc variable here on the initialization and uh, this is the code for uh, connecting with the scatter that we have discussed before so um, let's start making the functions that uh, will be used for fetching uh, account details so for fetching account details we will be using function we will make a function account details uh, this is our function and we can name it uh, anything so this function uh, in this function we will pass a account name and on this for this account name we will fetch the details from our JSON R using our JSON RPC uh, of EOS JS to connect to the blockchain so rpc.get account and our account's name so this is basically the function of rpc get account that will get fetch the details of given account name uh, from the blockchain but uh, uh, this will return a promise uh, therefore we will uh, use await here and for this purpose we will mention async here so uh, await will simply do when uh, this uh, call is finished the next line will be executed otherwise it will not move towards the next line so simply return the account that we have just fetched so this is the account function and uh, let's make one more function that will fetch the details of our table let's name it get table rows and uh, we will not need any parameter here so let's uh, name our variable rows then uh, the function name is uh, rpc dot get get table rows and uh, it will not just uh, take a simple parameter it will take object so the parameters are json that we will use true because we want our data in json code the code is the contract uh, that we are connecting to uh, the contract variable is de uh, defined above and same will go for the scope our scope is also the same and uh, then we will name our table 
what is our table's name? Transfers. But it will go in strings. So and uh, then we will mention the limit. By default, the limit is ten. Uh, you can increase it as you want. So now uh, return ross name it ross so here are our two functions uh, that will be used to batch details now we will make one more function uh, that will be used to initialize the details we will name it initialize that will be blank and uh, here we will call our uh, get account details function and our table ROS function Here we will pass the account name that we are getting from the scatter identity function uh, here and we are giving it in a global variable so that this is the advantage of placing it in a global variable. We can use it here. So uh, but the, uh, this account object this account is not just the name it is uh, it contains an object and uh, so we have to use dot name to keep the name so uh, let's print the account and ross we can count it and uh, afterwards let's do a simple thing to place our accounts name here in the heading so for that we will be using this and account and plus for concatenation then account this account object will also give uh, uh, an object of course and uh, inside it will be account name and other details that we will see in the console so this will print in the account name in the heading now for showing it in the table so this is a simple function that will append the uh, upper that will loop over rows and uh, uh, will append each rows uh, properties in our table cells so uh, what our rows are returning uh, our rows are returning uh, an array of rows uh, that will contain the JSON object of our table and uh, with the same name and properties ID second index and uh, we will use ID in second index same names uh, and it will return the values and that will be placed in the cells uh, columns so uh, here are our functions so let's call this initialize function when our scatter is connected and ready so uh, it looks good let's test it so now uh, let's test it open the index file in chrome great the our account name us testing ab and uh, the rows of our uh, smart contracts are here uh, uh, let's check uh, uh, the rows in from the clios command clios uh, uh, testing url test net url get table and the transfer table let's see how many rows are there in our contract 
great there are two rows so uh, the web page is uh, displaying correct data first one is index well one index well one bob to alice and bob to james bob to alice and bob to james 100 and 200 tokens great uh, so uh, these values are uh, displaying correctly from the blockchain and our testnet so uh, let's also take a simple look at the objects here is our account object that we have fetched from the blockchain it contains account name and uh, liquid balance eos balance cpu limit etc etc permissions all the details related to the uh, account and uh, here are the rows object uh, in the object we have a rows property that we have used in our code as you can see here rows dot rows and the rows contain arrays of objects as it is we have uh, uh, declared it in our smart contract so this is how uh, we use to uh, we use web pages and uh, to interact with uh, our smart contracts and uh, fetch information from tables and accounts or read smart contracts etc so in our uh, further session we will uh, learn how to sign transactions and uh, all is smart contract functions using our web pages and d apps uh, to sign the transactions using scatter so thank you for watching